Hi everyone, my name is Liam. Welcome to this match preview and prediction for the final between Maxime Cressy and Yannick Sinner at the Montpellier Open. Let's get into it. Apologies for the lack of videos recently. I've been on holiday, so it's been hard to get any videos out. But you know, the Montpellier final is too hard to pass over. You've got Yannick Sinner against Maxime Cressy here. And both players have had great weeks. Obviously, you look at Maxime Cressy's run, it was really mostly, you know, as we usually expect, his servant volume that got him through the weekend, his ability to sort of take points away from his opponent. In his, in his semi-final against Holger Rune, you could say Holger Rune was sort of more deserving of winning the match, I would say. Uh, Maxime was very lucky a few points and Holger wasn't at 100% in that third and final set, uh, which allowed him obviously to take the edge in the tie break. And there was only one point difference in the tie break, really one mini break that made that made the difference and, and Maxime got the win. If you look at, you know, Yannick Sinner on the other hand, he's had a, you know, he, he didn't have to play his first match against Martin Fuchsovic, which mean, meant he came into, you know, his, his second match against Lorenzo Sonego quite fresh. He was dominant from start to finish in that match, had an amazing point. Uh, in that I can't remember that was that, that video that was going around all online that amazing point between both of them where there was every single type of shot you could imagine in the point uh, and then obviously in the semi-final he just dominated as well against Arthur Fields and you know dominated against Arthur Fields in this form who you know is the breakthrough player trying to make a name for himself and especially in France is obviously never going to be easy beating him in straight sets like that is always not, not going to be easy so it was impressive from Sinner that he did so coming into this final obviously you look at both players how they played this week and depending on you know their strength and weaknesses both players have you know amazing strengths in terms of you know their serves good their uh well you say max and cressy's volley game is amazing uh but the most important factor for me coming into this match obviously is Yannick Sinner's return game. Sinner is a much better returner than Holger Rune and Holger Rune was very close to beating Maxine Cressy. Sinner will take the points away from Rune. He, he, will, he doesn't mind standing extremely far back and just you know, trying to get anything on the ball, even if it's little to nothing when Maxine's serving, you know, wide and wide in the angles and stuff like that. I think Yannick Sinner will be a bit too much on the return game for Maxine Cressy. It might be tie breaks. You could go for the over games here as you always usually expect in a match of this sort with Maxine Cressy, you know, almost always guaranteed at least a tie break if, unless he has a really bad day serving at the office but I think Yannick Sinner will win this match probably in straight sets I don't see Maxime winning a set here I think in reality is going to check him hard against a really really good returner in Yannick Sinner he's going to get his first title of the year and even add even more points to his ranking more videos will come next week when I'm in a more normal format and setting so don't worry about that if you want more predictions from my expert writers please visit tennissection.com and if you're on the best bets every single day straight into the inbox from myself and our expert writers please visit tennissection.com forward slash premium